On Tuesday, July 18th, fuel pump prices surged to 617 naira per litre officially across Nigeria, marking the highest rate ever recorded in Africa's largest economy. Now, the price difference varies from state to state, but remains at a minimum of 480 naira per litre. Petra Fotomi Peter documented the responses of numerous Nigerians on uh, the price hike. Pre-inauguration, you could spend as much as 11,000 naira to fill up your 55-litre Toyota Corolla tank. After inauguration, that quickly moved to 27,000 naira. But with the latest announcement, you could spend as much as 31,000 naira filling up the same tank. What are Nigerians saying about this? Let's find out. Well, imagine I buy four of 8,000, I think I make 10,000. Am I gaining or am I, am I losing? Tell your boss, how will I fix the tire? So all those things, you are not fine with it. I was, I was really distraught. I don't know why it keeps going up. And I believe that um, in the midst of this fall hike saga, the government should really do something about the palliatives. At least if it's even to increase people's basic salary, it will go a long way. The problem now is this. What is driving the recent increase? Is it OPEC? Is it increased international prices? Or is it that they had a problem with the original calculation they did? That is the question I want answered. Corroborating Meli Kiari's statement, Gerald Moore, head of corporate services in an oil retailing company, said the increase was imminent considering the volatility in the prices of crude oil. What we are seeing in Nigeria may not be totally unconnected to the global rise in the price of Brent. Don't forget that Nigeria continues to import oil. The recent um, floating of the exchange rates, which of course has led to a significant rise in the price of dollar in the market. And you know, oil is a commodity that mostly trades in dollars. In a swift reaction to the angst expressed by Nigerians, President Dinobu ordered the unveiling of the entire palliative package to Nigerians and also asked for the immediate review of the proposed 8,000 naira cash transfer to 12 million Nigerian households. However, Nigerians seem to be tired of waiting. The government is still talking about talk, uh, still the level of talks with respect to cushioning the effects. When are, uh, when are we going to see real implementation? Another area we need to also look at is the fact that have we seen reduction of cost in terms of the government? The government is not only the average Nigerian that should tighten their seatbelts, their beds. The government should also be seen tightening their beds. Government officials should also be seen tightening their beds. I think that we help Nigerians to bear this pain. Considering the ongoing challenges of increasing food prices and transportation expenses, many more Nigerians may further fall below the poverty line if urgent steps are not taken to alleviate the financial impacts of President Bola Tinubu's economic reforms on the citizenry. Therefore, it is crucial for the tripartite committee responsible for revealing the federal government's palliative measures to do so quickly. Perpetua Fasome Peter reporting for News Central.